Okay, let's talk about match face inside plasticity. Uh, it's kind of a handy little feature here, so I'm just going to kind of show you an example of what you could do with it. But basically, I've got these two cylinders in here, and I kind of want to make like a little pipe or handle or something inside inside the cover of this uh, console. So just quick example here. So if you do F, well, actually, you don't even need to do that. It's actually down here, match face. So if you click that and then go select a face you want it to go to, it will extrude and perfectly match the face of it to that one. So let's uh, continue on here. And I've got it. I've got a favorite setup for it. So it's a little easier. So as you can see, you can quickly uh, extrude and copy or uh, perfectly match the face it's going to. So it doesn't penetrate it, nothing. It just perfectly aligns with it. It's uh, kind of handy to have this to where you still have separate objects. And they're not uh, Boolean together, which could come in handy, especially when you're trying to UV objects and stuff like that, having all these one solid mesh it uh, tends to have issues. So another example of this, let me show you this uh, gun that I'm practicing with trying to do some weapon design. Haven't quite gotten there yet, but got this handle for, for a future gun here. And basically I want to match the contour here with this face. So to do that, you can either extrude that curve, which I copied from the, the grip itself, and then just extrude it up. And then all you have to do is just match your face, select it, boom, and then we can get rid of that. And you can see how it perfectly copies the, the contour of that profile. Or let me, one other example here. Let's go back in time. I what I did is I copied this curve and brought it up here, and then stretched it out. So this way I can loft it, still keeping the profile the same, but I tapered it in to make it a little easier, or to taper it a bit. And now we'll match face. Oops. There we go. And notice how even if it's not over, you know, it's not overlapping it, it'll still extend it out and still follow the contour. So quick, easy way to make some quick shapes, uh, some impossible shapes, which is kind of nice. And you can see how it takes on that curve quite nicely. Then I could take this bottom edge or bottom face, and then match face again to that top one. And there we go. And now all I have to do is just do a mirror. And now I got something I can work with. I can start making cuts, fillets, whatever I want to do. But that is basically match face in a nutshell.